What's going on, people? It is your redhead dancer, Mika Meese, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas. Yes, happy holidays to Wanna. So, for today's video, I am going to be bringing you a cookie overload review. Now, this for sure is an overload of cookies. So, if you want to see more of this review, stay tuned to the channel, like, subscribe, and let me get into this tasty review. Yeah, when I so when I could probably hear the top band in the background, they're gonna be giving us a little background vibe um, for part of this review. So, like I was saying in the beginning, um, this company is called Cookie Overload, and I actually just found them at a pop up that I went to at the Hilton. And what caught me was not only how nice and fresh and soft the cookies look and how flavorful I can imagine they look but was also the presentation that was also the thing that caught me about them the presentation of them they look they almost look fake and what I really like is that both of the ladies who were there dealing with the cookies um, they had such pleasant and such um, such pleasant and high energy personalities that I really like. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a review. Feel free to check them out on Instagram. And y'all know I gonna keep it real with y'all about them, but off the bat, I can tell that they're going to taste amazing. You can actually smell them as well. Oh my gosh. All right, so let me jump into this tasty review. So I have espresso, um, red velvet, macadamia nut. This one is, what is this one? I can't remember what this one, is this macadamia nut? And is this a different one? I can't remember. There are two different ones. Hopefully I'll remember. If I don't, I'll put it on the screen. Um, cookies and cream. And we got s'mores. So let me see what's going on. I can just put these off to the side because I don't want them to break. So let me see. First up, I think we're gonna try we're gonna try the cookies and cream. And I legit just got these. As you can see, I'm in the car and I'm bringing this review to you all now because I could not wait. <laughs> I could not wait. So, let me just show you all up close. Mmm. Tiny, tiny bag open. I can smell it. Look. Mmm. Alright, let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. it's so soft a little bit on the chewy side so if you like cookies that don't necessarily crumble or aren't hard but you like that chewy cookie mm -hmm. let's get some of the chocolate mm-hmm 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 and you could definitely see the bits of dark cookie in it. Mm-hmm. All right, so I can't eat all of this one because we got a lot more to try. And that would be too much. So we're going to move on to the next one. Let me just put that one over there. Next up, let's try red velvet. So we got the red velvet here. 
Mmm. And it smells nice. This is reminding me of something. Well, duh, red velvet. <laughs> but something else. It literally smells like they bit this like two minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Red velvet is nice. Also on the chewy end, but not as chewy as the cookies and cream. Not as chewy. And what I like about it is that it is sweet, but not overly sweet. So this is actually really nice. Like let's say you want to put together a little basket for someone and you want to include some sweet, sweet treats that they might like. But you know they don't really like things that are overly sweet. Red velvet for sure. Alright, so next up I am going to be trying the macadamia nut. I believe this is the correct one. I'm trying to remember which one this is. Uh, well, I guess we're going to see when we taste it. Uh, but this is the macadamia and this is pretty. Look at, oh my god. Oh my gosh! This smells the best by far. Like, so far. This smells the best. Mmm, like you can imagine having like a set of these just in the house. Like, just smelling at the place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I like so far about about these cookies is that they're very soft. Um they taste fresh. Very flavorful. And they're not overly sweet. They're not dried out. Um and so far, each cookie has given me the flavor that it is supposed to be. So, we're going to put that one there. I really like that one as well. Um, and I know I said the red velvet would be better for someone who isn't looking for something too sweet. But I actually think this might be the perfect, um, the perfect cookie for someone who isn't big on sweets. But they do have a little bit of a sweet tooth. Or for someone who's a little more mature and you know for them they're not gonna want all the dyes and all the extra things that so that one was also really good that was actually really good all right let's see espresso I really want to try this one when I saw it when I saw it on the on the board legit it was the first one that I took up I don't know if I have a video of when I was actually there but it was the first cookie that I took up from the time I saw the list and Woo. Mm -hmm. I haven't opened it yet and I can smell it I tried to open it that I don't break the cookie you got your top band in the back ah oh, the espresso look at it oh my gosh do I have a favorite as yet? This might be it. This might be it. And I haven't even tasted it as yet. So I'm going to talk a little louder because the guys are actually coming back. If you're looking for entertainment, just a, shame, a shameless plug. If you're looking for entertainment, feel free to email MikaMeeksEntertainment at gmail.com. Top fan, Mother Sally, Limbo Dancing dancing singing musicians entertainment of all kind feel free to reach out and your girl will start you out we could always discuss what works best for you and your event all right so email email all right so espresso I 
I'm sure y'all could tell that I'm enjoying this one even more than all the others. So the espresso is really good. Um, it's not as strong as you probably would think a coffee cookie would be. And I think that's what makes this cookie even more enjoyable because it's not too much. And the balance with the chocolate, oh, it makes this cookie so heavenly. So if you know of someone who really loves coffee, you know, um, I think this would be a perfect, you know, a little gift for them. Maybe buy them a box of six, of eight, of 12, of how many, but it is really nice. It is not as chewy or as soft as some of the other cookies. The texture is slightly different. Um, feels a little more compact, but it's still very soft. So this so far is my favorite. We got two more. Let me drink some water, guys. Just cleanse the palate a bit. We're jumping straight into the s'mores. This was actually the second one that I took up. I was so excited to taste a s'mores cookie. And the ooey gooey, ooey gooey marshmallows in the middle, in the middle, along with the chocolate. So you know s'mores is graham cracker, chocolate, and marshmallows. So we got cookies. So I'm interested to see if the cookie is gonna taste like graham cracker. Let's try it by itself, just a small piece. Almost. But let's try it together. Let's find a, a nice end to bite. And the um, the lady at the at Cookie Overload, she actually picked out this particular one for me. <laughs> so big up yourself. once again soft a little bit on the chewy chewy end for those who like chewy cookies the marshmallow right amount um because i'm a chocolate lover i just wish that there was a little more chocolate in this one that i could really get that part of it let me try the middle where there's this big set of chocolate here. Maybe I didn't bite enough. Yeah. But that might just be me because I'm a huge chocolate lover. And I overdo when it comes to the chocolate. But personally, I would have loved a little more chocolate in this one. Um, just so it feels like there's some balance between everything but it's a really good cookie I ain't gonna tell no lie it's a really good cookie and I would eat it so I think this and the this and the espresso are currently my two favorites we got this bad boy up next and from the time I open the packaging my reaction is mm. I'm sorry the camera cut off but Ah, uh, it smells so heavenly. I almost smell like sweet bread. This legit, <laughs> it's giving me oatmeal, but at the same time, it's giving me sweet bread. And I do not recall any sweet bread being on their list. Any sweet bread cookie. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I actually just remembered this is their Christmas cookie. This is the Christmas cookie. Ah, it no hit me. This is their Christmas cookie. Because I kept saying, did I take up two macadamias in two different styles? What? What? But this is actually their Christmas cookie here. And it smells so good. It smells like sweet bread. It smells like 
it's giving me a little bit of oatmeal but legit it smells like sweet bread um so let's bite into it I can taste the spice. Mm -hmm. This is nice. What is that? What is that that I'm tasting? I'm trying. What is that that I'm tasting? The words right now that I'm looking for, they're not coming to me. I think because my palate is so overwhelmed with all the flavors and the richness of these cookies that I can't find the words to describe this one but it definitely tastes like a Christmas cookie um you can taste the richness of it it is soft it is chewy like I said it smells like sweet bread so if you're a Bajan or if you're a Caribbean you know the taste that sweet bread gives you um with like the essence and stuff like that it tastes similar to that but I I, I don't think it was sweet bread that she had told me um was the flavor that they're going for but it's a very Christmassy flavor with the spices and I think pumpkin um but like I said I'll probably bring it up here it's not coming to me right now guys <laughs> but this one is really good I like this one also yeah all of these cookies let's see how much cookies we have here one two three four five six if I were to read all of these cookies, that would be a tough one. We would have to do a separate video for that. But if I were to really give y'all a rating right now, overall, all of these cookies were 10 out of 10. And that's no exaggeration. Y'all know I keep it real. Overall, from what I tasted, all of them were a 10 out of 10. They delivered the flavor. Um, they were soft and chewy um the the presentation was beautiful the cookies looked like they looked like they were factory made cookies like perfect circles the chocolate chips on them or whatever was on them looks like it was placed down strategically like even with this macadamia nut here so beautiful like so so beautiful honestly this review definitely was really flavorful um and i just encourage you all to go and check them out i am going to have to pace myself and remind myself that this is a bit much so i'm gonna have me a cookie a day <laughs> but i definitely will be reaching out to cookie overload again um to see if i can get some of these goodies for some friends during the holiday season or after the holiday season because we know christmas is legit couple days away um but i'm gonna make this part of my little gifts to some friends so like i said this video was not sponsored but i do look forward to maybe some more videos with cookie overload who knows we'll see um, feel free to check them out on instagram and let them know that your redhead dancer mika meets sent you to make your purchase um as you can see here from the page the presentation of the cookies ugh, is so amazing so talk about an overload of cookies y'all need to check out cookie overload we have come to the end of this flavorful satisfying review don't forget to like comment share subscribe help your girl reach that 1000 subscriber mark and i will see you all in the next vlogmas video all faith no fear happy holidays i love when a bad 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 are gone <laughs>